Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Vim Backup and Replication version 12 tips and tricks. Today I wanted to show you how you can do a backup of your main configuration of Vim. So if you will go here in the menu we got configuration backup. So as you can see I have my configuration for the backup enabled and it's enabled for one of my data stores that I have here with one of my disks disks so basically fast backup here's uh, where my backup configuration is being stored and backups vim configuration backup vim 12 and here is my backup I'm just gonna delete it right now and of course there you have the notifications if you want to set let's say uh, email in notification regarding your backup configuration so you can also set it up here you got the scheduler of course how many uh, times uh, or, or um, at which hour you want the uh, automatic job to run for the configuration to take place for this backup to take place so I have it daily at 10 o'clock and it's every day and of course I'm using enable configuration backup file encryption so I'm also encrypting my backup with a specific uh, account that I have chosen for it so let's apply this and now let's do the backup of the configuration and if we go here you can see that the backup has been done if we wish to restore our configuration we can always choose restore we're gonna restore the configuration let's choose the backup file so from backups okay right I'm gonna do next we have to provide the password for the administrator as it has been also encrypted or for the account that you're actually using so okay so the uh, target database database uh, uh, configuration that if you want to configure will be lost proceed yeah I want to exactly restore advanced everything is on default we are just restoring everything from the backup okay so the instance is gonna be closed for the restoration to take place course the services have to stop and then restart again
Okay, so the restore has completed successfully. As you can see, disab disabling multi-factor authentication. So every time you restore the configuration, you need to enable multi-factor authentication if you have it previously enabled on uh, one account or a couple of accounts. Okay, so credentials. Of course, I'm using my main uh, administrator credentials. And now all the services are starting. Okay, so everything has been successfully restored. Now we can launch the backup and replication using interface. So I guess some services are still stopped. They need to be started, of course. And there we go. Let's check our users and roles. My users are restored. Let's check the inventory backup infrastructure repositories. My repositories have been restored and access permissions to the repositories have been set as well like they have been before okay so as always like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one